skills carry over once you learn the, the new packages. So we're talking about software, um, and I want to think ahead a little bit because there's a lot of emerging technologies. Um, uh, Unreal actually came out with this uh, MetaHuman Creator demo, which is pretty mind-blowing, the things it could do with AI and just really how it's kind of prepackaged, uh, you know, served, ready to digest, ready to eat meal here, right? As far as um, characters and in, in believable humans, right? Because um, a meta human uh, creator kind of pushed the envelope a little bit. There have been other um, types of like plugins and packages, but this one, uh, it's very, they're very, very uh, realistic. So, as a character artist, what what is your, I guess, take on uh, developments like this? And more importantly, uh, anytime that like new technology like this comes out, uh, you know, do you think a package like Meta Human Creator could, will replace uh, 3D artist jobs to some no. degree? No, no, it's not. It's actually helpful. Mm. So in a, in a game studio, you uh, pretty much depends on the game, right? But pretty much, if you're making a realistic game with real real humans, uh, they they prefer to scan a person because they capture mm. all the facial expressions, they use facts to basically animate the, uh, the, you know, realistic faces, facial expression, and things like that. Not every studio is using Unreal Engine, right? Some, uh, like every studio that I work with, they have their own, their own engine, basically, right? They make their, develop their own engine, have their own engine, depends on which studio you're working with. And the MetaHumans, as far as I know, first of all, I'm not in a place to, to, to basically say or judge what they are doing, because um, Unreal is a big, uh, Epic Games is a big, is a big company, right? And they know mm -hmm. what they're doing. So whatever I say might be wrong. And I don't know their plan, how they want, how they do things and what they're planning for this type of work, plugin or whatever. But uh, from seeing it, I, I don't think um, it's actually not replacing artists. It's actually great for artists because if you're working in a studio, you will have to use the scans. If it's not an, um, if it's not a, you know, a stylized type of game, you you'll have to use the scans um, to basically make the character. And um, mental human is only on Unreal Engine. So if you work for a company like I don't know, uh, Activision, if they're not they're not using Unreal Engine, then you don't have access to this, right? It's limited, and it's only limited to making faces. And I think from my experience, best case you can use it for secondary characters or um, background characters or crowd basically and um, or other projects like if you want to present something to a client you want to have a virtual human talking about a project that you made and you want to present this to a company you know and so on or or an or a VR project and things like that but as far as replacing artists no it's not going to happen and, and you know the, 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 the reason I ask you that is because anytime these big uh, updates come out or these groundbreaking developments, um, th there was also a lot of talk when like um, ZBrush and auto auto retopology right started coming out and just auto retopology started coming into mine and other packages as well. But you know anytime there's these uh, developments, artists their initial uh, you know their initial instinct or their guts like. Is this going to replace me, right? Like, I wanted just to get your take on it. You know, the problem is they're thinking too, like ahead of everything. You know, so if you're not already in the industry, you, I mean, first of all, like if you want to become an artist, you shouldn't think about, am I going to be replaced or not? You know what I mean? It's it's your duty as an artist to, if you love what you're doing, and if this is exactly what you want to do, make characters for games or films or whatever, you have to be good enough or so good that they can't ignore you, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So regardless of the tools, these tools are actually good for, for us. Like I, I, when I saw them, like, I wish I had, I was able to use this, you know, for in the past basically, because mm -hmm. it's it's simplifying the tasks that you don't want to work on. And, and I feel like that's why they made it. I don't know. I mean, I have no clue. I'm just like guessing because mm -hmm. there, there are a lot of works that when you work in game industry, you may not enjoy doing, you know, topologizing the same head over and over, texturing yep. over and over. So making a package that can give you a lot of like um, different heads and stuff for different looking characters, it's an amazing thing. The only thing is it doesn't make um, armors, right? And it's not going to, I don't know if it's going to happen or not in the future. They, they will develop an AI, give him some images and it's going to create armors with models and textures and everything. 
You don't mm-hmm. know. That's the future. But no, dude, I mean, I think uh, people are, um, you know, young artists are thinking ahead of the time or ahead of their journey. They're thinking too far into the future. That's why they're like, oh, I'm going to lose my job or I'm not going to get a job because, no, it's not going to happen. It's actually going to make your job easier. It's like camera, that. right? When the camera was invented, they said, oh, uh, oil painting is not going to happen again and that's it. Uh, all the artists are going to get out of business. What happened? Oil painting, if you if you know how to do oil, oil painting, um, I mean, if you're a good good artist, you can make a, a lot of like really good money. You can make a business out of it. It's not getting out of business, basically. 